dumpster divers. They don't mind getting a nasty banana peel on their head if they come out of that dumpster with a credit card number or they come out of that dumpster with your social security number or your bank account number. All of that is going to be really valuable to them. So if you've got a chance, shred it up. Not just shred it, but micro cut it. Because there was a time in the evolution of shredding when uh, in the beginning it was just strips. And if you were careful and patient enough, you could, you could tape those papers back together. And then they moved on to something cross cut that was a little better, but still not perfect because if you were again patient, you could piece some of the, that private information back together. And then along came micro cut. And micro cut's pretty amazing because micro cut turns what you're shredding into confetti. You could open up a hotel window on Times Square on New Year's Eve and throw that confetti out that you've just taken out of your shredder and not have to worry about it. To the millions of people down below, it's just going to be party favors because that's what it's all about. When someone steals your identity, by the time you are able to figure it out and you're made aware of it, they're in the wind. You have uh, little or no chance to ever catch them. The authorities have little or no chance to ever catch them. And guess whose re uh, responsibility it is to fix it when your identity is stolen? Yours. And you know who pays for it? You do. So why don't we stop all that at the door and we're gonna do it with Royal. Who is Royal? Well, I remember them making an awful lot of typewriters once upon a time, I think they still do. And they make quality electronics that we all know, love, and trust. And they bring us a 10 cup micro shredder. So you can put 10 sheets into this at one time. Yes, you can also put credit cards in here. If those uh, papers are stapled, that's no problem. It'll eat up the staples too. And then there's also an auto feed. Now this auto feed is great because now this holds 110 of your most sensitive documents. Old tax forms, canceled checks, credit card bills, or my favorite, those blank checks they send in the credit card bill. Yeah, mm -mm. shred them up. This is what it's all about. Now, I don't know if they still pin permission slips to little boys and girls uh, jackets. That's what they did with me when I was a little boy in grade school so that it would be sure and get home from my mother's signature. Um, so, but uh, it probably all happens electronically now and scan. But it's one of those situations where you don't want any of that stuff floating around. Shred it up and be ready to roll with something that is so, so affordable. Now, this is happening for you at a great clearance price. Now, ordinarily, this shredder would be about a, over $152 at retail. We are at $79.98. Now, we also have color choices for you, and we're going to go through those colors for you and let you know what's happening. What I have on the screen here is black, and we're going to continue with that on the graphic. So I have it in black. I also have it in brick red. You can get it in charcoal. You can pick it up in dusty pink, and you can pick it up in navy. It has little casters on the bottom. Casters, uh, that's a fancy word for wheels. Has wheels on the bottom already attached. I keep my shredder plugged in right beside my garbage bin, my simple human garbage bin, the one that opens up when you wave your hand over it. Because when I come in from the mailbox, I came in from the mailbox last night and I had four pieces of mail. Three of them were junk mail and one was a big and tall catalog. I like the big and tall catalog. So um, this is uh, going to be important. I took those three things, shredded them up. And that's what I want to make sure I can get rid of. We're going to invite in one of our electronic experts. Craig Smith is joining us live via Skype, who's going to talk to us about this shredder from Royal and why it's so important to protect you and the people you love from identity theft and people going through your garbage because people do on a regular basis. Craig, how are you, buddy? I'm doing great, David. Always great to see you. We just think about the things you talked about, all those documents you have laying around your house, whether it's a pile just busting out of a filing cabinet, maybe it's the pile that you have sitting on the corner of your desk and you're kind of thinking, I know I need to get rid of that. I know I need to get rid of the taxes from 2005. I need to get rid of that old insurance policy or that medical form I got from the doctor's office. And we all get busy and we all do this. I mean, this makes sense. You got a lot of stuff going on in your world. You tear one piece of paper in half and you throw it in the trash. But those bad guys very easily can do that and put it back together again. This is a micro cut shredder from one of the industry leaders in office machines, Royal, that's been around since 1904. Instead of turning one page into two, what micro cut does, it turns one piece of paper like this, eight and a half by 11, to over 1,100 little pieces. So the doctor's forms, the forms that you're getting for back to school time, I know you're getting them because I have two daughters heading back to school in a couple of weeks and we're getting bombarded with them right now. 
This is a great way to get rid of those documents that have the personal, the private, the medical, the financial information right. that you don't want to share with the world. This is the way you get rid of those documents. Dave. Hey, um, Craig, Karen, one of our chatters, wants to know, can you shred envelopes? And I'm going to guess what she means is you know it's junk mail in an envelope. You don't want to open it. Mm -hmm. You just want to shred the whole thing. Can you feed the whole envelope through? You can. It is going to depend on the thickness of the envelope. Right. But the front slot here takes up to 10 pages at a time. So if you get something in the mail that's about three pages deep, fold it into thirds and put in an envelope, yes, you can put it through that front slot. And if you do make a little mistake and try to jam something too big into here, you can easily back it back up again, then open the envelope and stick it in there. So the answer question for Karen is yes, you can stick whole envelopes in that front slot. Well, you've got quite a fan in Janice. Janice says, yay, yay, Craig Smith. So nice to see him when they have him on. So fantastic. Thank you, Janice. Janice is a big buddy and a big fan. Um, and everyone is, uh, oh, Wendy says, we just got ours in the other day and because we, we continually get credit card offers in the mail. So now we just shred it up and not worry. Um, so this is what it's all about, taking those things and shredding them right through before you ever go to the garbage can with it or the recycle. Because here's what a lot of us used to do. Just tear it in half and throw it in the garbage. That'll work, right? Um, all they have to do is do this, and now suddenly what was torn in half is made whole again, and they can read everything on it. Or you can stand over the garbage can with scissors all day long and cut it up into little pieces. That might work a little better, but take forever. Or you can just pop it in here. Now, the last thing I want anybody to know, Craig, is that I get a monthly prescription for acid reflux. I don't want America to know I take acid reflux pills. So when it comes to refill them, what do I do with the old bottles? I, or when I come home from the drugstore, I've got those papers stapled to the bag that have the name of the, of the drug, you know, for acid reflux. And um, also for all the, uh, and it's got my name, my address, my doctor's name, the prescription number, where it got filled, the address of the drugstore, all that uh, is all on that paper that is stapled to the bag, right? I take that off and I put it right through my shredder because what I don't want is people to know that I take acid reflux. Okay, well now you know I take acid reflux pills. But what you don't know is my home address. What you don't know is my doctor's name. You don't know where I got it filled because I've shredded all that in the shredder. There are so many things that we need to be careful of. Your shipping labels off your boxes. You know, maybe you have uh, those come in that have your name, your address, and sometimes your phone number, and a tracking number. You throw away a box with a tracking number on it, someone picks up the tracking number, goes to the website, plugs in your tracking number, and now all your information pops up. Maybe even your payment method. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not going to take the chance. I'm going to make sure that I shred all those things and make sure that they never get in to um, uh, anyone's uh, into the wrong hands. Um, hey, we're getting a question about your puppy dog, Craig. Someone wants to know yes. where Smitty is. <laughs> there is no Smitty and no Bailey on set today. They're busy lounging around having a good time while Dad works here, David. So um, I they're think not around. They're studying the inside of their eyelids, aren't they? Uh, they do that quite often during these warm summer months. Yes, that's what they like to do to relax. No doubt about that, my friend. <laughs> so both of Craig's animals are, are cool in it, quite literally, in all this heat. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Um, but look at how it's, it's snowing inside your shredder. I mean, look yeah. at how all that. That's the magic of, of microcut, right? Yeah, that's the, that's the micro cut. We're taking every individual piece of paper, turning into 1,100 pieces. And this video really shows all those great features. So you have two different ways to shred. There's the auto feed tray. that takes up to 110 pages at a time. That's great for getting rid of old taxes and things like that. The front slot is for your everyday shredding. Up to 10 pages, credit card staples. You saw the bin on the one I have in front of me, and there's another look at it. You can see how that four and a half gallon bin gets filled up with those micro cuts so you'll know exactly when you have to empty it. There's also access to the rollers. So if you do happen to get a paper jam, it's very easy to replace. Get that junk out of there and then close it back up. You have the LED lights. And this feature is really cool, David, the no mess drop bin. So it opens up very much like the Dyson vacuums we have here at QVC. It makes it easier for cleanup. There's a lot of old shredders where you have to take the top off of the machine or you have to turn the bin upside down and you get shreds all over the floor. This is an easier way to clean up when you're done. Oh, there's just an envelope. Put it anywhere in your house. What there's was that? an envelope. There's an envelope that just went through. Envelope goes right through there, yeah. Put this in a convenient place in your house. 
It has the caster wheel, so it rolls away when you're not using it. And it comes totally assembled as well, David. You take it out of the box, you plug it in, and you're ready to shred and get rid of that information before the bad guys get it into their hands. I mean, you're about to go back to school, back to routine, uh, probably maybe back to the office. I mean, we're, we're slowly allowing employees back into our building here at QVC. And so now, after all these months, years at home, you are now transitioning maybe into a hybrid situation. You've got clutter and you've got papers that need to be a, a dealt with and you've got uh, old bills and you've got old tax records and canceled checks. Or maybe you're doing like I do now and you take pictures of checks that are sent you and you deposit them electronically. What do you do with the check after that? Now, the check can't be cashed twice, but you know what it has on it? It has on it account numbers, it has names, addresses, sometimes phone numbers. Go ahead after you have safely and, and the bank has confirmed they've been deposited, you can shred them. That's what makes these great. Now, I will tell you we have colors, but today is your day to buy because of clearance pricing. Now, we're down to our final quantities and all these colors can't get a reorder on this particular shredder. So, and so uh, what we're doing is taking a top shelf item, bringing in a rock bottom price. That's your clearance price of $79.98. Ordinarily at retail, this would be over $152. We're at $79.98. And this will take 10 sheets at a time up front, 110 in the auto feed. Now, let's take a look at our color choices. We have them on QVC.com. Now, this color is black. Here's brick red. Most limited. Here's charcoal. Most popular. I also have it for you in the dusty pink and the navy. So don't miss out on any of these color choices. And remember what Craig said, fully assembled, nothing to put together when you get this at home. You're ready to roll with something that is really, really fantastic. Craig Smith, uh, go and enjoy those, uh, uh, join those puppy dogs for a nice, cool, relaxing uh, Friday afternoon, okay? I'm looking forward to it, David. Have a great day. Looking forward to hearing more about it, mister. All right, thanks. Now, we 